Foreign trained South African doctors are desperately seeking work. They're struggling to get the board exam date after completing their studies in countries like China and Russia. They're waiting for the Health Professions Council of South Africa to offer the exams. For more on this conversation, I'm joined by foreign trained Dr. William Muller. William, thank you so much for joining us on SAT this evening. It's great to speak to you. Um, first of all, give us a bit of background. Tell us where you did your medical studies. Thank you, Anne. And, and Ali, and thank you to, to, to your viewers also. Uh, I studied, uh, I went to China in 2014. I went to a university called uh, Italian, Italian Medical University. I was there from 2014 until I completed in uh, December 2021. Then and I since December 2021, when you've come back, you have not been able to write the necessary exams. What exactly are the requirements in order for you to be able to be a practicing doctor in South Africa? To be a practicing doctor in South Africa, you, you firstly have to uh, verify your degree with uh, ECFMG. Then after verification, uh, you have to apply to HPCSA. Uh, for, for the board exams. What have they told you has so, been the holdup for, for so preventing you from writing these board exams? Apparently, they, they can't get a, a service provider to, to, to take the exam. Because uh, with the exam, there's two, there's two sections. There's a theory section and a, a, a practical section. Uh, section. So uh, they have to acquire services of of a particular university. Mm -hmm. So they are telling us that they are struggling to get the university that uh, will take the exam for us. With so many because institutions they, they, they of high learning with... in South Africa, it's very difficult to, to understand why there's no one that can or will accommodate because I mean I assume there are a number of doctors who, who've trained overseas who want to come back to South Africa to practice in South Africa because we have this dire shortage of medical professionals we need people like you who are trained and and who want to come and practice in South Africa um, have they given you any assurances of, of when you can expect to write this exam after waiting in your case uh, m more than a year and a half already when, when we went to, to the HPCSA uh, offices on Wednesday, uh, they told us that uh, there is a criteria that they use to, to, to select the university that uh, will take the exam for us. But unfortunately, some of the universities don't meet uh, 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 their requirements. We don't know what, what are their, their requirements that they, they, they want from these universities. They didn't tell us. They said that some of the universities do not meet their requirements. And then uh, they are telling us that hopefully uh, one of the universities in, in South Africa has agreed that uh, they, 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 they can take the, the, the exam for us, but they're still, they're still discussing it. Apparently today at nine o'clock, they were meeting to finalize uh, uh, the whole uh, thing that when can we take the, the, the exams? William, what's been the impact on you? Because a year and a half is a very long time to be in South Africa, unable to work in the profession that you spent an incredibly long time studying for. It, it, has, it has been a quite a, a rough journey. Because now when we come back, our parents are expecting that we will, we will get work and be able to, to provide for ourselves and also help with because some of us, we are from a, a disadvantaged backgrounds, mm. whereby uh, maybe both the parents are not working. So now when we come back, they're expecting us to work so that we'll be able to help them. But with this thing of HPCSA taking a long time to, for us to write the board exams, it, it, it's, it's really a, a hard time. It's, 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 it's really a hard, hard time. Is there any talk of, of taking the HPCSA HSPCA on because I mean if, if they're holding up the process and you're unemployed in your trained profession because of a holdup uh, that is you know falls within their mandate they're supposed to be able to facilitate the process for you 
I mean, I, I know you march to their offices. Are there any plans for a number of, of, of these trained and qualified doctors who cannot practice to take them on in some way? You know, the, one of the ways that we, we, could, we could really have, uh, have opted for was to go and march to their offices and ask them to, to, to please, please uh, uh, accept us and go look for a university that will be able to, to take us so that we can be able to write the board exams. But uh, they're, they're taking us from pillar to post. HPCS, it seems like they have uh, administrative issues that they, they can't sort out. They, you can even ask them, we even ask them how many, how many uh, uh, doctors that have applied to write the board exams. They, they will not give you a, even a, a, a sure number of how many uh, foreign trained uh, South African doctors that are, are waiting to write the board exams. So it, it, it really shows that there is an administrative dysfunction somewhere. And then no one is taking responsibility for that. I can tell you now that after the match, there were people that had applied a, a, a long time ago, maybe a few months back, that had, had not uh, got any reply from HPCSA. But after the match that evening, most of the people that had, had applied and had not received any email, they received the emails. It shows you that they are capable, but they, there's just a dysfunction mm -hmm. somewhere that needs to be sorted out. Well, we definitely will try and take the issue up with them directly to get some answers from them. I know the HSPCA has said that uh, they hope the exams will be held before the end of this year. We wish you luck. We wish uh, you all the best. We hope those exams do come through for you so that you are able to practice here in South Africa and contribute uh, meaningfully in your chosen profession. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. That was uh, foreign trained doctor, uh, Dr. William Muller, speaking to us about the difficulty of uh, doctors trained in foreign countries uh, to write board exams here in South Africa in order to enable them to practice here legally.